I get a little tired of these 20 somethings that are fitness trainers on Instagram calling things fads that they know nothing about. Honestly, if you've never had a weight loss problem, you probably don't know what is good for helping you to lose weight. So today we're going to talk about whether uh, the ketogenic diet is safe. This is also uh, falls under the broad category of low carb healthy fat. I've got a young man on my Instagram who, uh, who has done remarkably well for himself, but he always uh, poo poos on the, the low carb healthy fat diet and the kid, he's had some issues, but weight loss was not one of them. So I kind of, uh, <laughs> I'm doing this for you, but in a way it's also for all these uh, 20 somethings that have good metabolism still and have work out in the gym all day and have nice bodies because they really never have had a weight loss struggle. He has helped his mother lose some weight and there are many ways to lose weight. I'm not saying that low carb healthy fat is the only way to lose weight, but it is one of the, uh, the best ones and it's one of the most popular ones right now. So let's discuss whether it's safe if you're going to launch off onto it, if you're looking at it as a way uh, to help with your health. We can go all the way back to 1905 to determine whether low carb healthy fat is a safe way to eat. Well, let's go back even further than that. I'm not sure what the date was, but prior to the, uh, what do you call it, the, the founding uh, when they uh, understood that insulin uh, was able to treat diabetes, the only treatment for a type 1 diabetic was through, through diet. And I need to add in a disclaimer here. And by the way, this channel CP59Fit and I'm Chip. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. I did get a, another new subscriber since I talked to you last. So thank you, whoever that is. I'd say like 90% of my subscribers are anonymous, so unless you comment, I don't even know if you're a subscriber. I was at a, a birthday party for a friend the other night, and she in, implied that she was watching my uh, channel and that she'd been on keto for a week and a half and had lost 10 pounds, so congratulations. You know who you are. But uh, let's go back before Professor uh, Stefansson. Uh, there was, I'd have to look this one up, it just came to mind. But the only way they used to treat uh, type 1 diabetics, or actually any type of diabetics, was uh, with a diet that reduced your insulin response. So that's known to be healthy for a long time. And then after World War II, it kind of lost popularity and insulin was discovered. But that's not what I want to talk about right now. Uh, from 1905 to 1917, Professor V. Stefansson, Stefansson, S-T-E-F-A-N-S-S-O-N, who was Harvard trained as an anthro, anthropologist, lived among the in Inuit tribes. Up, uh, they are, are like Iceland, northern Canada, northern northern Alaska. They've been carnivore for a long time, and the, uh, the pessimist or the skeptics will say, oh, they're hunter-gatherers. Well, what can you gather up there? There's apparently one bat berry that uh, is ripe maybe two months out of the summer, but it's so um, bitter, very few humans are actually interested in, in eating it. So they basically eat uh, bison, uh, re reindeer, reindeer meat and the fats that go along with it. And they tend to know more about low carb, healthy fat than any of us do. They have survived fine, but they were an illiterate people. So there's no recorded history, but this uh, Harvard trained anthropologist went and lived amongst them for 12 years. And then about got drummed out of all medical societies when he came back and reported that you don't need vegetables to live. You don't need carbs to live. So he got poo-pooed on immensely 
so bad that in 1928 he submitted to be incarcerated for 12 months in like a mental health institute where they could monitor and record what he ate. So all he ate for 12 months was meat and fat. It was uh, basically nose to tail. And, you know, of course, all the doctors said, oh, you'll get scurvy, you'll get rickets, whatever, whatever, scurvy, because you can't make any vitamin C if you don't have vegetables. Well, he didn't get scurvy, and you don't get scurvy. You do get scurvy from lack of vitamin C, but there's enough in meat uh, that you don't have to add any. So he did just fine in this uh, voluntary incarceration where the doctors wrote down everything he ate, measured it, and uh, kept good records. And that was in 1928. So back then, if it was safe, it's still safe now. And of course, they couldn't get the foods that in Inuits ate. They could only get what was available in New York City. So they had fish, meat, uh, beef, uh, whatever was available in general consumption in New York City in 1928. He survived, he thrived, he did just fine. Oh, I forgot that one was Gatorade. I had one with tea earlier, so it tastes a whole lot different than I was expecting. Gatorade Zero, no, zero sugar. Okay, and a, another benefit of keto is that it suppresses oxidative stress. And I'm not going to try to describe what oxidative stress is right here. But in my particular instance, and I need to say, uh, I think I, I meant to say it earlier, but I don't think I did. If you are a type 2 diabetic and you are prescribed insulin, you want to be very careful starting out on a, a low-carb, healthy-fat diet unless you are medically supervised. I'm personally medically supervised with a through an app uh, through the Virta Health program. That's V-I-R-T-A Health. Uh, you can go to their website and apply uh, to be part of their their group. If you don't have insurance that pays for it, I believe it's $95 US a month. That provides you with a health coach, a keto mojo, uh, insulin and keto uh, reader, a you know, thumbstick one, a smart scale, and access to this app. The smart scale transmits to the app with the, the thumbsticks. I have to put them in. Uh, manually but I have a coach and a doctor that's monitoring me pretty much 24 7 the reason you need that is because uh, if you do a low carb healthy diet or keto or carnivore or whatever you option of it you choose in prescription strength then you will lower your blood sugar so fast that if you're still taking the insulin you needed two or three days ago uh, then you will be get into uh, where you have too much insulin, and that's not good. So you have to have a doctor de-prescribe your insulin as you lower. And uh, you're not going to know on your own how you need to do it. So you need some medical uh, personnel involved if you're a bad type 2 diabetic and you're prescribed insulin. Metformin, you don't have to come off of. And here again, I am not a medical professional, so I can only uh, digest what I hear and see in the studies and then uh, share it with you in a form that hopefully you can understand. There are all kinds of, uh, of studies that show the benefits of a well-formulated ketogenic diet. Now, briefly here, I'll go over my numbers since I don't think I really went over them the other day. And I'm going to do my whole uh, next video on is cholesterol killing you? Because uh, my numbers are really high. I think I mentioned that in the previous video. My vitamin D is very good. It's at 58.8. My HbA1c is 5.3. That's the lowest it's been uh, recorded since I had the stroke in 2015. My cholesterol uh, is high. My triglycerides are, are back up again. But there is some indication that on a, a high, low-carb, healthy-fat diet, that triglycerides will go up. 
But on this uh, month of, of hell, my weight has already started to drop. My And uh, two days ago, I got back into nutritional ketosis. Now, what does that mean? That means I had 0.5 millimolar per liter or above of ketones in my bloodstream. I hit that level on Saturday, and I only started really clamping down Thursday morning after my DEXA scan, which was Wednesday. I guess I still need to go over the DEXA scan results. I don't want this to go terribly long. I'm having to use my phone because I knew it would be too long to put on a, the five-minute program that I used for the last video. I'm glad you all like that new format. It really quickly uploads the video and processes it. So I'm going to try to make shorter videos, but, you know, I kind of have the gift of gab. So anyway, to answer the question, is a ketogenic or low-carb, healthy-fat diet safe? Absolutely. You know, you don't need vegetables. You don't need carbohydrates. You can have some if you want. But if your goal is to lose weight, you have to keep them down very low, under 30 grams per day. And I did, I have dropped a few pounds, uh, I guess, since Wednesday. I won't really know for certain until I get back to the DEXA scan late in uh, February. But in some other good news today, I did speak to the landlord at the apartment I was hoping to rent in Warrington, Virginia. It is still available, and it now is mine, <laughs> or reserved for me, let's put it that way. There wasn't a bed in it, but it was furnished, and they've, they've come up with a bed, uh, I guess a pretty nice bed. So when I, whether I get there in April or like August, <laughs> and that's one thing I haven't mentioned yet, is I'm looking into signing up for a trusted house sitter website and then doing some house sitting around the country or around the world. To reduce rent so it's a potential I'll have one in down by the Mexican border uh, right after the wedding in April and then so that would mean I wouldn't need the apartment in Warrington till August and she doesn't care if it's rented or not she always says God brings her the right person so I think I'm right, the right person this time it's a lady I've known for 20 well 30 40 years probably closer to 40 years uh, she lives there part-time, here part-time. Don't want all her details out on the internet, though, so I'm just going to keep it at that. But I'm excited. I'll be in Virginia. I'll be closer to my parents. I might go back to work part-time. Uh, I guess things won't be as crazy there because I'm not trying to pack up. Right now, I'm very, very busy. I have to be out of this current apartment in 20, I think 25 days. Uh, I'm going to leave February 25th, or I think go to Tyler for a night, and then go to Branson on the 26th. So I have to have the final walkthrough and everything out before I leave, obviously. So if I'm leaving on the 25th, I have to be out on the 25th, even though my lease doesn't end until the 27th. But my rental in uh, Branson starts the 26th, and they kind of like you to be there, <laughs> you know, in a condo when you're going to, the day you're supposed to be there. It wouldn't really matter if I'm a day late, but I'm going to enjoy that first week. I don't have any guests coming that I'm aware of at this point. The second and the third week, I do have some guests coming. It's a two-bedroom condo. But I'm going to get all my tests done prior to that, and I'm going to get this apartment cleaned up. So I think I'm going to let this load up, and I'm going to get back to work boxing up stuff and deciding who's going to get it. Thank you. Have a great day. Yes, keto, low-carb, healthy fat. Carnivore is safe as long as you do it in a well-formulated ketogenic diet. And if you're on medications, you need to have medical supervision so you don't hurt yourself by having too much medicine going in based on your current weight because you can drop your blood sugar in a matter of days. And one of the studies I watched, it had like 20 people, I think or maybe five or so, I don't know. But anyway, the longest it took anybody to get off was 19 days off their insulin. And these are people that have had type 2 diabetes for like 8, 10 years. So it uh, that's only less than three weeks. So yeah, most people don't go to the doctor that frequently. So you need a doctor watching you much closer. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe and comment. Have a great day. Bye-bye.